is Nigel and my name is Liam. Leon. Rihanna. Rihanna. Okay, nice meeting you guys. Uh, what are your thoughts on the afterlife? Well, I think you get reincarnated into an animal. So, or okay. if you do bad in life, you can go to hell. That's what I think. Okay, so reincarnation. Yeah. But if you are bad, then you go to hell. Yeah. So in your world of reincarnation, there is also hell and heaven. Yeah. For good people. So when you go to the heaven, do you go and then come out? Or you live there in the heaven because most people, when they speak of reincarnation, they are saying you're coming back on earth. Mm. I What's you go, your? I think like? you go into heaven for a bit. Okay. And then they kind of like analyze like what you've done in life. Okay. And then if you've done well enough, then you come back. Okay, so they analyze they a, a group of gods or one god. We group? say a group. A group. Yeah. All right. Okay. And. Uh, well, I'd say you come back as someone else because I've seen like stories and whatnot of people coming back as a different person but then remembering their past lives so i think might be something like that because i remember there was this kid uh he was telling stories about his soldier friends or whatnot from his past life okay and, was it a movie uh i saw it on youtube at one point uh i don't think it was a movie or anything like that it was just something i saw and i just vividly remember right now so all right because there's loads of stories about that i just thought okay yeah. uh, so uh, like I said, me myself, I'm I, my faith, I'm a Christian. All right. uh, I've got, uh, I've done some homework on different religions as well, yeah. and I uh, keep studying. And um, I believe, like you say, heaven, yeah. and uh, also the opposite, you know. But I love to talk more about the positive. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to talk about here, you know. Yeah. Uh, now, how does one go to heaven? Uh, for us, or a Christian. Only one thing, to put your trust on the gift of God, Jesus. Yeah. I'm sure you've heard about Jesus. Oh, yeah, of course. He died for our sins, for yeah. the whole world's sins. So if you repent yeah. and you put your total trust in the completed work that when he was put on the cross, being punished, being beaten, yeah. he was taking it for you. Yeah. So it's a free gift. Yeah. So once you are a child of God, you live by one commandment. You know which one? Love. Because love fulfills all the other commandments if you live in love you don't do things to other people because once you want to receive something you just do it because it's right to do what is yeah. good love has got patience forgiveness long suffering yeah. humility there's no pride joy peace yeah. you know then you can make it yeah yeah so repent receive in jesus and that's it now with what i'm saying uh, are you going to change what you believe right now and maybe take that or are you still hold on to the reincarnation? Because religion is what men have made. Yeah. People make things so that we, we perform. Yeah. But if I ask you, like, what is the standard of how, how much good do I need to do? They, you'd be like, oh, you just need to be good. But how do I know that this is the standard? Yeah. You know, and is it God's standard or it's people around us who have made that standard? Sometimes we do things that there's nothing to do with God. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah. wait, so a religious person is someone who's just doing things to tick a box. Yeah. How many times you've been to church, how many times you've done. But a personal relationship is different. Yeah. You know, For uh, me, I sort of go by how I see things. So I'd say I'm sort of agnostic. I believe there's something there because yeah. you look around you, everything's here for a reason, you know? Yeah. And like, it all originated from somewhere, didn't it? So like, That's like why, trees, yeah. like okay. grass, yeah. everything. It could have, it's got to have come from I somewhere. Think, I don't think it's all from science. I think there's something behind it. Like yes. how the world was created. Yeah. But, but of course, sure none how. of us were there back then, so we don't know. Yeah. So we just go okay. by off all these beliefs. So uh, when we say we don't know, yeah. you don't know. Because you have not read the Bible. That is true, yeah. So me, I've read it. Yeah. There is everything laid in it how everything began how good created everything how you made men and uh, can i give you one verse so that even when you go maybe to trigger you yeah, to, course, to yeah. say let me go and read my bible yeah uh, let me give you one verse uh, it will come from the book of jeremiah chapter uh, jeremiah chapter what 29 uh, okay for i know the thoughts i think towards you says the lord Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Then shall you call upon me 
and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will listen to you. And you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. So God says, I know the plans I have for you, mm. plans of good, not of evil. Mm. Yeah. And to give you an expected end. You know, God wants to do great things through your lives. This portion was written, if you read the context of it, it was written to a nation, Israel. Yeah. They had God, but then they turned away from God, they forgot him. Oh, right. So they went into many troubles, many challenges, until a prophet was sent to them okay. to say, hey, you are still my people. Yeah. I have plans for you, plans of good, plans to give you an expected end. So you guys, obviously, I don't know where you are, yeah. but I'm sure this scripture is speaking to you where God is saying, look, whatever you've gone through in life, I want to restore your life. Mm. I want to heal you. The trauma you've experienced, the hardship you've experienced, all those things, it, it, it will work for your good to your advantage tomorrow because you will testify to the way you look how far God has brought you. So I don't know what you guys have been through or what you are going through, but God is merciful. Yeah. God is love. And he's saying, my daughter, my son, I want to have a relationship with you so that you know why I even put you on earth, so yeah. that you fulfill your assignment. Because all of us, like you said, all these things didn't just pop up. Yeah. God designed, God created. Because yeah. the only thing that I question is that, so I don't really share this, but my mum dealt with like, so when my brother was born, my mum was trying from then. She first had a miscarriage and then a few years later it was me. Okay, uh, is trying, it, are you trying. okay to share, to, to talk? Yeah, yeah? okay. Um, and she kept like doing, you know, that <laughs> um, okay. to try and get someone into the earth and then... I was brought here like after okay. like five or so years and off like she kept trying and trying and then somehow it just happened so okay. I don't know how that came about like because you know after like a miscarriage and like years of trying mm. and stuff nothing happened until yeah. okay all right uh, but one thing I'll tell you God loves you he loves you so much you know and uh, he sent his son Jesus to die for your sins so that you can have a new life mm. so there is a new family that loves you the family of god mm. so things can happen experiences can come but uh, the bible tells us let me show you something that yeah. there is an enemy the devil yeah. the devil is real and you will do everything to make sure that you are blinded from coming to a place where you know god yeah. Yeah. Uh, i'll show you one verse uh, that would be my last verse. Yeah. I know I said, uh, I'll show you. Uh, so many people are in darkness, but they are not aware because something is happening. Chapter 4, okay, two verses. It says, but if our gospel, this is the good news that I'm telling that Jesus died for your sins. If it is hidden, it is hidden to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world is blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So in other words, the devil has blinded many people so that they will not know the truth. But mm -hmm. going to heaven, like I say, very easy. Yeah. Repent and be a child of God. Now, once you are a child of God, you've got many advantages yeah. because you are in the kingdom of light. Angels are even at your disposal to help you. When you are on your own without God, navigating in this life without God is difficult. Sometimes we end up being busy in the wrong thing, yeah. you know. And uh, when you've got God, there are some things which might have happened to your mom. They will yeah. not happen to you again. A repetition will not continue because now the blood of Jesus Christ protects you. If you have a son or a child, I'm sure you do everything to make sure that it is well with them. Oh, yeah. Once cool. you become a child of God, God makes sure that everything also goes well, well for you. So uh, I'll finish by saying, Get in a good Bible believing church. So for now, buy a Bible. If you go to W. Smith, buy a Bible. Start reading it. And uh, with what I'm saying, are you really, um, are you understanding? Or, are you, am I saying it in a way that you understand? Yeah. 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 yeah? Okay. Uh, so get a Bible. <laughs> Start in the Gospels. Start reading the book of John, Luke, Matthew, Mark. Start those, those books to know who is Jesus yeah. and to understand what he did for you. Then, uh, I don't know when are you going to give your life to Jesus? When are you going to repent? Yeah, maybe that time is coming, you just don't know. Yeah. Okay. People die every day. You, yeah. I mean, I, I might die on my way home. Yeah. 
but I know where I'm going. Yeah. So in, in short, if you have understood what I'm telling you, and you say, I also want to be part of the family of God, yeah. you can repent now. Yeah. yeah? To repent is to change the way you think. I've been going that direction. Now I want to follow Jesus. So you can choose to say, Lord, forgive me for all my sins. Some people make a prayer. Some people, the Bible says, when you believe in your heart, then you'll be saved. So uh, do you believe that Jesus died for your sins? With what I'm saying, or you want to do more homework on him? Probably more, more research. More, yeah. more research, yeah? Okay. So it's very important you do that research because many people sometimes just make a prayer to say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, forgive me for my sins. But then they don't commit to him. Yeah. They continue to live how they were living. So uh, do some research. And if you see that I can put my trust in him, do that. Now, I, I will close by saying this. If you are a doctor and uh, she is your regular uh, client, patient, and she comes to visit you yearly yeah. and you do an examination on her, okay, you are good, see you next year. Then this time she comes and when she turns up, you check her out and you find that there's something in her body that is going to take her life in the next two weeks. Mm. But you have got the cure for it. If you give her this cure without telling her why she needs to take it, will you take it? No. If you don't know what is wrong with you, will you take the cure? Um. Or will you ask doctor, what is this for? Would you take the medication without asking a question? Yes, I mean, he if told it's you. If a doctor, then yeah, I probably would. I know what they're doing. Well, they know what they're doing. Okay, so if this doctor yeah. does, a, let's say there is a deadly disease that maybe you know of, like yeah. AIDS, yeah. for example. Yeah. Then you see him holding the tablets for for the AIDS medication, yeah. like uh, uh, the medication. If he wants to give it to you and you know that you don't have the AIDS, yeah. would you take it? I mean, if they've done tests on me and they know that I have it. No, but first of all, you ask, why would you want to give me this medication? Probably, yeah. Yeah? It makes sense to ask first of all, hey, yeah. doctor, why do you want to give me this medicine? Yeah, true. And if he says, oh, in two weeks, we're going to lose you, I'm sure you'll be like, oh, doctor, I wish there's a cure. But if he then says, I've got the cure, I'm yeah. sure you'll be like, I want this cure yeah. when? Yeah. Now. So that I can live. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is, Jesus, do your homework and quick because nobody knows when they are going to die. Yeah. So, because you don't know the condition where you are and when you are going to die, because nobody knows. Sometimes we think that, ah, because we are still young, we still have good time, then maybe later, maybe later. But the Bible says when you hear his voice, respond. Mm. Yeah? So, don't go and forget what we have talked about. Just know that, hey, I'm in a place where I need, just like car insurance, mm. you're not cars, but you prepare because you never know. Yeah. You know, if we're in a plane and we run out of fuel and the pilot says, guys, we are going to crash, we're not going to make it. Mm. And I turn up and I say, hey, I've got a parachute. Yeah. You have this parachute, I've got two so that we can leave. Yeah. Do you take the parachute once we hit the ground or do you take it straight away? Take it probably. Straight away so that yeah. you can jump before we crash, isn't it? Yeah. So, same thing, we are in a plane and we are all moving in it. But you have your parachute on, you have Jesus. Be born again when you are still okay, when you are still happy. And I, I can talk until tomorrow, but <laughs> do you have any questions for me, guys? Mm, eh? I don't think so. Do you? Not that I just need to do my research, really. <laughs> uh, research, yeah. Okay, and I hope I've been a blessing. I, uh, we said five minutes, maybe ten, but yeah. I didn't know it was going to last this long. Yeah, of course. Now, what you say makes sense because cause we weren't around back then, so it makes sense hearing it from someone that was from there back then, Jesus, Jesus himself. So, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So, uh, just to finish, I myself, before, what made me become a Christian? I had a personal experience with God in 2003 around December. I used to womanize women. I used to love girls. All right. And I used to, uh, I had an addiction with pornography. Mm. I used to watch a lot of porn. Sometimes I want to stop it. 
yeah. uh, you know, and I used to have struggles with it. Yeah. Why? Because demons were influencing me. Yeah. They cause people to be addicted. Yeah. They, their job is to torment. Uh, sometimes nightmares. They used to torment me. But when someone came and preached to, like, to me like I'm talking to you now, and I received Jesus, I said, Lord Jesus, forgive me for all my sins. I repent. Come into my life. I was prayed for, the demons left me. Joy entered, peace entered. That void, that space, which was void, which I used to try to, to, to fill by, by those things that I used to do, straight away because Jesus came into that place, I became complete. I don't need to be who I am by what people tell me. I'm complete in how God has made me. I've got confidence in who I am. I don't need to try, you know. So my life has never been the same now. Happily married, I've got my kids. And I want to share with the whole world too, so that they also put their trust in Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, nice talking to you. Can I just pray for you before you go? Yeah. yeah? Okay. So Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, these two, I pray, Father, that you give them grace to understand the scriptures. When they start reading the Bible, give them understanding. And Lord, everything that they've experienced, Lord, I pray healing. I pray healing. Even your daughter, Lord, remember her. Heal her, Lord. Wherever mom is, touch her, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sometimes we go through these challenges because the enemy wants us to, to faint, to lose hope. Sometimes even to commit suicide. But Lord, I thank you that you came to give us life. And may your life overflow in their life. Give them many years of peace. Give them a good church. Connect them in a good Bible-believing church with the right people so that they will be the men and women you've called them to be. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. So the Lord do you good. Amen. Amen. <laughs> uh, if there's no other questions for me, guys, you've been a blessing. Uh, I love just to share the gospel, the good news. Yeah, and I, I hope I've been a blessing to you. Yeah. Definitely it, it, changed the way I've seen things. So I appreciate that. It's been a great meeting you. Yeah. Oh, Definitely. praise God. Yeah. Arise and shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely we have received, freely we give.